when somebody comes and tells you that you know your child has to have surgery the same day that they're born like that same night you're you know you know you're helpless you can't do anything to like make the problem go away i immediately just started crying nurses came up and took her right away so I didn't even really like hold her it was like my worst nightmare came true the tumor itself weighed about 650 grams which is a large uh, proportion of, of what the baby's weight was it would be like a tumor weighing about 60 pounds in a comparable adult and the reason that hers was life-threatening is that it was compressing many of her vital organs. <laughs> the stakes are very high with the surgery. Hemorrhage or bleeding is the most serious complication. And in a little baby like this, if you develop hemorrhage, it could be life-threatening. Potentially, the baby could, you could lose the baby on the operating room table. Just hour went by, hour went by, and I was just sitting in the waiting room, still in my gown. I looked like, you know, I had all kinds of things attached to me because I wasn't waiting in my room. It felt like forever, but as soon as Dr. Spidlin walked through the doors and she went like that, I was able to breathe. I took a deep breath and I'm like, oh, thank you, God, and I prayed and I thanked God. So the scar has healed really nicely. Her belly feels perfect. It's like nothing ever happened to her. She looks absolutely she looks amazing. So Like when she turned one, so then the chances of it coming back slimmed down. Exactly. And I'm pretty sure that it's not going to come back because she's just doing so good. Come in. It doesn't appear as if she's had any uh, complications, which is amazing because we often do see complications. It is a medical marvel. I love Dr. Spiglin and I knew that she was in good hands. Thank God she's everything's good. It was really, really hard. I'm trying.